An effort to clear up space and save Kentucky money may have caused more headaches than it was worth. Tonight, WHAS 11 editor Todd Prince and Doug Prophet dive into the vault to show you why, if you were charged with a misdemeanor before 2002, you may no longer have access to those records. If I had had a call from some official in authority and said, we're about to make a dreadful mistake, I would have said stop. It was August of 2005. Chief Justice Joseph Lambert signed an order to destroy all misdemeanor records prior to the year 2002. One year later, the file cabinets were emptied. The paper, microfilm, and electronic records were disposed of. It was a move intended to free up storage space that cost money. Every additional record that we're required to keep requires additional money. It requires money for storage. It requires money for looking it up. The purging of the records would have devastating implications. Police wouldn't be able to enforce federal gun law restrictions for individuals with domestic violence charges on their records. Prosecutors wouldn't be able to point to an individual's past crimes to boost sentences. He kept telling me what I didn't get, and I said, no, sir, what you don't get is the calamity that this is causing. And for people with dismissed cases, it would be disastrous for background checks and green cards. Anytime somebody's charged with a crime, that will show up. However, many, many cases are dismissed or acquitted or amended down to, you know, very minor offenses. That's never going to show up. That's gone. All it shows is what they were charged with. They can't show if they were acquitted, if the charges were dismissed, anything else. John Baldwin walked into the court archives office looking for proof that some 1999 misdemeanor charges against him had been dismissed. I understand that. I, all I can do is give you a, like a general letter that says that the record doesn't exist. Hold on. To figure out what led to this dilemma, Kentucky Supreme Court Justice appointed Judge Tom Wine to head a committee in December of 2006. There may be a misunderstanding of the need for the records, but I don't see any way that someone would suggest that there's criminal involvement. In February of 2007, the committee concluded that officials in the state administrative office of the courts failed to communicate with each other, listen to local officials, or adapt and change policy. They suggest that you have a group of all the people who have an interest in this issue, who sit down and look through and work through these issues um, so that the policy reflects everyone. I could go to Staples and buy it for probably 50 bucks, enough computer space to store that. Somebody just was not thinking. In the end, the policy was changed to enforce that all misdemeanor records are kept in the county for 25 years.